explain it all, put it into focus for us. Eric, before we start, I've got an idea, and we'll talk about it on the back end of all of this, but I, we'll talk okay. about it. But anyway, I'd love take, to hear your ideas, my friend. I'm always. sure. Uh, take uh, it away. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, okay, uh, this really was a shock for a lot of people. Apparently, the two schools had been uh, thinking about this, negotiating this uh, in advance for a long time, uh, secretly. And so when the news dropped yesterday, wow, is all I could think of. Uh, yeah, it, it really, ultimately, it was about money. It was a decision about money, and that became the biggest consideration for these two schools. Uh, USC and UCLA leaving the Pac-12 conference for the Big Ten in August of 2024. That means the Bruins and Trojans are going to play football games against teams like Michigan and Ohio State, Michigan State, instead of Oregon State and Arizona. The move will affect all sports except for some volleyball and water polo teams, and it means much more exposure for student athletes from these universities. The Big Ten has a TV deal that could be worth a billion dollars. It distributes twice as much money to its members compared to the Pac-12. I mean, uh, if you try and watch a Pac-12 network game, you can barely find it on some major TV providers. Switching to the Big Ten will help with recruiting. Student athletes are essentially getting paid now. They can sell their names, images, and likenesses, and playing in the Big Ten is worth more because it has such a big national footprint. Here's how both schools are justifying what they're doing. First, UCLA, here's their statement. We recognize these are big changes. We value the talent and dedication of our student athletes as well as the passion of Bruin fans far and wide. The best way to respect that is to protect our program from the great uncertainty it would face if we did not make this transition. And here's the statement from USC. Our move to the Big Ten positions USC for long-term success and stability amidst the rapidly changing sports media and collegiate athletic landscapes. The enhanced resources from this move will enable additional support for our student athletes as well as benefit initiatives surrounding academics, accessibility, and affordability. All right, those are the positives. There are some downsides as well. Student athletes from USC and UCLA, all of a sudden, they're going to have to do a lot more traveling as they go back and forth to the East Coast. The traditions and some of the rivalries of the Pac-12 conference, which has been around for 63 years, are going away. But ultimately, college sports is a business, right? And joining the Big Ten helps with revenue and attendance. Aside from the pandemic, this last year or two, um, or, or three actually, were among some of the lowest in attendance for UCLA football at the Rose Bowl. So um, nothing but good things can come from it, I would think. I mean, we're talking tens of millions of dollars difference between the media rights money that's going to Big Ten schools and Pac-12 schools. So that's a pretty significant amount. Yeah, so a lot more money and the rivalry between the Bruins and the Trojans. I got both T-shirts here, so I'm representing each side. Uh, remains, they'll just be in a different conference. We'll send it back to you.